A multi-step opt-in form is an opt-in form where the first action is to click a button rather than to fill out a form. And this is called a micro-commitment. So the fact that someone has to click a button might actually increase the number of people who sign up afterwards on the form. But also this can lead to better leads because of segmentation. There are three reasons why you would use multi-step opt-in forms on your website. The first one is to get that micro-commitment. So you want people to say yes, to raise their hand before they actually see an opt-in form. The reason that this can increase your conversions is because of the consistency bias. So if somebody said yes to the first question, then they will be more likely to also say yes to opting in to your offer. This could look something like, do you want to get more leads? And then people can say yes or no. And if they say yes, you show them an opt-in offer that will help them do exactly that. And at that point, the chances of someone signing up are bigger because they already said yes to that first question. The second reason to use the multi-step opt-in form is to get that segmentation. So you can ask a segmentation question and people can tell you in which group they belong. So you could ask something like, are you a beginner or an intermediate? And right after, you can then show the perfect offer for that segment of your audience. And because of the specificity, because you have a more specific offer for that specific audience, the chances of them actually feeling compelled to sign up are bigger. And then the third reason that you might use a multi-step opt-in form is to get people to rally behind the cause. So you might want to ask people something that they believe in. And at that point, if they say, yes, I believe in this, yes, I agree with this statement, then they feel part of something and they can actually be more compelled to sign up to be part of your community. So for example, if you ask someone whether or not they agree with the following statement, what gets measured gets improved. If they say yes, and then you say, perfect, that's exactly what we are all about here at the XYZ website, come join us and join our newsletter. Then people, because they said like, hey, I'm part of this group, I believe in this, I wanna be part of this community. So that can then again increase your signups. Now by now, I hope that you are thinking about the different ways that you could use these multi-steps on your website, because I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up using Thrive Leads. Here we are in our Thrive Leads dashboard and for this tutorial, I'm gonna start a new lead group. So let's add a new lead group and call this multi-step. From here, we will add a light box, but of course you can use the same techniques with other types of opt-in forms. Let's add a form. And let's call this a yes, no. Now, here we are in the Thrive Leads editor. It's a really easy drag and drop, what you see is what you get editor. And we have a ton of templates. And you can see that we have different templates when you see yes, no, or when you see templates that say multi-step. These are the templates that are designed for this exact type of opt-in form. So we can select one of these and start working from there. Or of course, you can start from scratch. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start from scratch so that you can see how easy it is to set this all up. So now we have our light box here. And as you can see, there's not much there yet, just a white box. So the first thing that we want to do is create our first state of our opt-in form. And this will be the state with our buttons. So let's add a background image to this opt-in form. Add a darker colored layer with a 50% transparency so that the text over the image will become readable. And now let's start dropping our elements in there. So first we want a title to ask our question. So let's make this white and a bit bigger.
And here we could ask something like, do you already have an online business? And then we want two buttons, one to say yes and one for no. Let's make this full width. Let's change our color. And then we want another one to say no. And maybe let's add some margins there. I'm also going to put this a little bit more to the inside so that it actually fits. All right. So now this is the opt-in form that somebody would see or the first state of the opt-in form. As you can see, this doesn't look like a typical opt-in form. So when somebody sees this, it looks more like a quiz or maybe a poll that you're running on your website. And that might actually make people not to close the opt-in form immediately because they don't know yet that you're going to ask them to sign up. So they read the question and then it's a very simple yes or no answer. So what will happen then? We have several options. We can make sure that each one of these buttons is linked to a different opt-in form so that we can have different offers for these opt-in forms. Or we could have one of the buttons simply close down the, uh, the form because in, if in our segmentation we're not interested in people who don't have an online business yet, we could just decide to not show the opt-in form to them. So let me show you how this is done. When you click on a button, you go into um, animations and actions. And here you will be able to set up different actions that happen when somebody clicks on the link. So for the no button, what we want to happen is here, click on our custom integrations and we want to close the form, apply. And then we're going to delete the link that was already attached to this button. So now when somebody clicks on this, this will close the form. But for the yes button, we want them to go to another opt-in form. And for that, we want to create a different state of this opt-in form so that when somebody clicks on it, it just switches state and they will see the opt-in form appear. And for that, we have to go here to this green plus button in the corner and click on add a new state. And we want to create a normal new state. So not an already subscribed state, just a normal new state. This now created a copy of our default state. So here you can see we have a default state and state one. And so now here, instead of having our uh, yes, no button and this text, I want to have an opt-in form in here. So let's add an element. Let's add a form element. Here, this lead generation. choose from the opt-in form, pick a template. As you can see, you can also add a contact form or an application form. In these light boxes, you can really add whatever you want. But for this example, we're going to add a simple lead generation form. Let's change our color because why not? <laughs> and I'm also going to change the text on this button. So anytime when I want to edit something within this opt-in form, I click on the edit form element which is in the main options. And then I can simply change the text here. Now, in our example, we would have a free guide that is called um, Scaling Secrets. Now we can add some more text above this. Now this becomes our free guide. And then of course we would add some more text to explain exactly what is in this free guide. And last but not least, we want to make sure that we connect this opt-in form to our email responder. So you can do this by clicking on the add connection and then choosing from the API connections that you have already available on your website. Now let's go back to our default state and actually link the button with this state. 
So click on our Yes button. Let's go into our animation and actions. And here again, click on the custom integrations. But then instead of closing the form, we want to switch state. And this is state one. So let's apply. And let's delete this link because we don't need it. All right, now let's preview this. So this is the first state of our lightbox. And then if someone clicks on yes, it will go automatically to the second state of this lightbox. Now that's it. That's how easy it is with Thrive Leads to create these multi-step opt-in forms. As you can see, you can put anything on those buttons. Yes, no, I agree, I don't agree. I'm a freelance designer, I work for a company. Whatever it is, you can use it in the way it fits your website. And you can repeat this process to create more states. So like I showed you, you can either link a button to the close the form or you can link a button to a different state. So we could repeat this process. Let's go to our state one. And then from here, add a new state, new state. This now created a state two, so automatically it again copied our default state of the opt-in form and we can start changing this here. And then you can link the button to the state two. Can you see how powerful this is? Can you see how you can ask that question to your audience and then show them a specific offer that really fits their needs? Now I want to hear from you. Have you tested the multi-step opt-in forms or are you getting stuck somewhere? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are an online entrepreneur, then don't forget to subscribe and to hit that bell so that you are notified when we publish new videos.